so hey everyone so today we are going to talk about the latest phi 3 model that has been finally released by microsoft so i personally think they were waiting for llama 3 model to get released and uh, post that they will be releasing phi 3 or maybe they have been planning this for, to release most probably by may 3rd or 4th week but llama 3 actually got pre-pwned as they already told in the event that uh, meta is going to release llama 3 in the first week of may but they pre-pwned it and uh, released it two weeks back so I think Phi 3 also released the model thinking that, okay, this is the time to take away all the hype. So Phi 3 model is actually a bit different than Phi 2 uh, and Phi 1.5 model I from what I remember. So the whole point is in textbooks is all you need one and textbooks is all you need two. these two papers. Uh, they were talking about how they trained the model and the, all the parameters and everything. But technically no one is was using their model as a chat model. Uh, because they were not releasing any instruct version and they were only releasing a small model right but in this they have released three models the phi 3 mini the phi 3 small and the phi 3 medium so that's a very good thing so we are going to talk about the benchmarks and everything now the whole point is the scaled up version of uh, that is used for the phi 2 composed of heavy filtered web, da web data and synthetic data so uh, when we talk about the parameters and everything Phi 3 is uh, actually just a 3.8 billion parameter model and Phi medium, Phi 3 small is uh, 7 billion and Phi 3 medium is 14 billion parameters. So let's uh, deep dive into how they have uh, taken all the things. So they have mentioned that the, that the previous approaches that they have taken, uh, the textbooks is all you need approach is they have tra trained using the same data set and they have trained for 3.3 tri trillion tokens that is the uh, on larger and most more advanced versions of data sets that are used in phi 2 so they the high quality content data that they have is actually helping them very much in achieving the good accuracy with even this small size model so and as you can see they have also mentioned that they have trained the model for uh, instruct uh, instruct tuning they have also done so you can actually use it as a chat model also so technical specifications are same it's a tra transformer decode architecture uh, decoder uh, architecture only and the default context length is 4k so they have said that they have also really extended the context length to 128k that is called phi 3 mini 128k so uh, it, it is you know same the is built upon a similar block structure as llama 2 only they have said the uh, vocabulary size and everything somehow remains same only the same tokenizer and everything they have uh, told that it is even capable of running on a cell phone just like gemini mini so uh, they say that thanks to the small size so phi 3 can be quantized to 4 bits also that is it only occupies 1.8 gb of memory from 3.3 to already 1.8 and we have tested this quantized version by deploying this on iphone 14 with a16 bionic, bionic chip and it is achieving more than 12 tokens per second so that's a very big thing right so they have uh, followed the same sequence of work initiated in textbooks is all you need i think everyone should read this paper this paper actually proves the whole point that if you have very good high quality content data then you actually don't need very big models right so that is what they are saying high quality content data, training data to improve the performance of small language models and uh, deviate from the standard scaling laws so this is what actually i also followed while working on my own komodo 7 billion model if you guys have not watched that video i will highly recommend you to go and watch that video so yeah so our training data consists of heavily filtered web data uh, for, according to the educational level and they have uh, you know taken data from textbooks it's a very high quality data obviously when you take it from textbooks so this is how they actually mentioned so uh, from the screenshot itself you can see they have they were in a bit of hurry i guess so uh, you can actually go through the thing so 4 bit quantized 5 3 running on iphone uh, with a16 bionic chip so you can see write a short poem that is hard to sing so it looks good it looks decent and similarly write a paper uh, paper where each letter starts with p so mining powering progressive pioneer with okay so it actually looks good generating out 12 tokens per second and uh, so post training our models are went through a uh, post training with both supervised instruction fine tuning so they have done sft and preference tuning with dpu so yeah everyone is doing that so they also have done obviously so now if you come to the benchmarking ranks right so you will see that uh, phi 3 mini and phi 3 small and uh, phi 3 medium these are the three models that you have to look at so this phi 2 was actually very good because it was only 2.7 billion and it was able to compete with chat gpt at that point right so 71.5 and 56 only 15 percent difference and the parameter difference is huge 
so that was a very you know uh, great achievement then by microsoft uh, i think one year back so if you see it is getting 68.8 and it's uh, mixtel is 68.4 and gpt 3.5 is 71.4 they have not used uh, gpt4 or cloud uh, cloud 3 i think the reason is because their accuracy obviously will be very high and uh, uh, so so it, it makes sense completely makes sense so but in hella swag uh, you see 76.7 78 and it is uh, even outperforming so 3.8 million model is actually outperforming the gpt 3.5 82.5 and 78.1 but all these numbers are just numbers until we get the weights and uh, we can actually test uh, the real life use cases so that will be very good so uh, if you see here phi 3 uh, small it's actually all of their benchmarks are outperforming gpt 3.5 and mixture so phi 3 small looks very promising 7 billion model and i think the best thing that they could have done in the short period of time is they have also benchmark llama 3 so that is uh, really good apart from their side so uh, according to their benchmarks phi 3 mini outperforms in almost all the benchmarks the llama 3 8 billion parameter model just with a 3.8 billion parameter model so where are we heading are we to, uh, heading towards a point where 8 billion parameters is actually more than sufficient to uh, achieve a state of the art performance because phi 3 is able to achieve uh, like not able to achieve a state of the art but able to defeat most of the existing models in the market that are open source and closed source <laughs> quotes and quotes so yeah Coming to safety, they have uh, Microsoft responsible AI principles and everything. I think this I will skip. I will allow you guys to go and read. So seeing the screenshots and the quality content and the image quality, I can say for sure they were in a bit of hurry uh, while drafting the paper and everything. So uh, you see the RAI benchmarks, they have said the safety and everything. This I won't get into. <laughs> so uh, weaknesses it says. So achieve a uh, similar level of language understanding and reasoning ability and uh, however we believe such weakness can be resolved by argumentation with search engine so on, uh, yeah on QA and everything it, we saw that the results were not that good but they said that in, I think they are trying to uh, you know augment that with a search engine they are you know, th think, thinking of using something such as uh, rag architecture combined with the LLM model right so we show an example using hugging face default chat UI with 53 mini in figure 4 so this is the one I guess so here you see right where they have integrated the web search with it also so it's performing decent plan me a one day trip to alaska and it's doing decent right so yeah i will link the paper in the description as usual you guys can go and have a look at it so example prompts for benchmarking so they have also mentioned that so it's very good so yeah a lot of others have been there i think more than 30 i think yeah cool so if you see here right uh, by sebastian so phi 3 is good and actually he has uh, made a quick demo to feel, like give you a feel of how phi 3 actually works it's just a 3.8 billion parameter models keep that in mind and i will also give you the link to this uh, uh, this x tweet in the description just uh, watch this video it will help you a lot now coming to the next so microsoft phi 3 and uh, uh, 3.8 billion model matches with the performance of mixtel 8, 8 into 7 so this is just a visual representation of of all the things of MMLU, Hellaswag and NLI so for people who are not that interested in the tables instead are interested in graphs so this actually shows you that phi 3 medium has outperformed everyone you know you see phi 3 medium phi 3 medium and phi 3 medium has outperformed all the benchmarks and uh, phi 2 uh, phi 3 7 million uh, small model is actually second in most of the cases you see even here it is second almost similar to GPT 3.5 even here it's outperforming GPT 3.5 and here also it's almost second okay yeah this time it's behind right so phi 3 uh, medium 14 billion parameter model is achieving state of the art in coming in when you compare along these specific models obviously GPT 4 and uh, Claude 3 are two big model compared to these these are just 7 billion models and they are more than uh, 400 billion parameter model so a direct comparison won't be fair but yeah if it is able to even defeat GPT 3.5, that's a very big thing. So outperforming these big models like 150, 175 billion models by just with a 7 billion parameter model is a very big thing, right? So yeah, these three tw uh, tweets and paper I would link. You guys should definitely go and read because <laughs> they have done some really hard work and smart work here and even done the comparison with Llama 3. So they took all the hype from Llama 3 by showing that we have achieved the state of the art performance in uh, small language models so yeah it, it looks pretty promising so 
yeah guys uh, i hope they open source the bits uh, as soon as possible what they have mentioned that it will be open source by tomorrow morning so let's see once they are open source we are definitely going to try them in collab and uh, we'll we'll actually start with the small mo mini version only because mini is uh, 4.8 trillion tokens have been used and uh, it's just a 3.8 billion model so it's going to be interesting to see how it performs so yeah thank you and have a nice day